At Yoprint, we define embellishments or decorations as services. Every service will contain a pricing matrix as well as application locations. To add a new pricing matrix, go to Configuration, Service and Product, Service. Click on Add Service. Select the type of matrix, regular or flat, we'll explain the differences in a bit, and type in a unique name for the service. Select the locations of the service. If you enable Custom Location, you'll be able to manually type in other locations when you're creating an order. Now let's look at the difference between a regular and a flat matrix. A regular matrix charges the price to each garment. A flat matrix charges the price just once. Let's create a regular matrix. Let's say, for one item and one color, we'll charge $10. Now let's add a row, and we'll make the quantity 50 and charge $5. Let's say you apply this matrix to an order with 10 products. Since this is a regular matrix, YoPrint will apply the $10 charge to each item. So 10 multiplied by 10 is $100. The total service cost would come out to $100. If the order has 20 products, the total would come out to $200. What if this was a flat matrix? Let's go back to service and add a flat matrix. As you can see, the layout is the same. We'll add the same pricing and quantities as we did in the regular matrix. Let's say you apply this matrix to an order with 10 items. The service total would end up being $10. If there were 20 items, the total would still be $10. Because the price is charged just once and isn't multiplied by the amount of products in the order. Instead, the amount is amortized into the unit price. Now that we know the difference between a regular and flat matrix, let's look at an existing matrix to understand how you create one. Here's a matrix for an A4 size screen printing with water-based ink. For an A4 print, the product location would be on the front or back of a t-shirt, but we'll also allow this matrix to be used on custom locations. Here we've got the quantity breaks, and the pricing is based on the amount of colors. Your columns don't have to be based on the number of colors, you can edit this as you see fit. Let's look at an example for DTG. Here, the columns are based on size. For embroidery, this could be based on the number of stitches, so it's completely up to you and how you structure your pricing. You can create as many pricing matrices or services as you need. You can also upload your pricing matrix as a CSV. To do that, first create a placeholder pricing matrix. Then, download the CSV template and update it with your pricing. Once you're done, upload the CSV to the pricing matrix. Now let's talk about secondary matrices. If a secondary matrix is provided, then the first location will be charged using the primary matrix, and any additional locations will be charged with the secondary matrix. For example, let's say a customer wants a one-color print on two locations, and you charge $20 for the first location, and $15 for the second, third, and fourth location. In this case, the primary matrix should say $20, and the secondary matrix should say $15. Now you're an expert on how pricing matrices in your print work. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base at support.yoprint.com or email our support team at support at yoprint.com.